What's up everybody? So today we're gonna get right into it. So I wanted to make a video on how I tie my shad rigs. Got a couple of questions asking how it's done, how I like to tie it. Might not be the best way, but it's my way. The river's kind of muddy today, so decided to make a uh, how-to video. Somehow managed to drop a shad dart in my energy drink. Oh. All right, so this is my setup that I use for the shed. Berkeley trout rod, actually. It's a seven foot rod paired up with the uh, Abu Garcia, the X20. Loaded up with eight pound test, which actually is a uh, kind of overkill for the shed, but you know, um, I use this rod for different types of fish. It has 120 yards of eight pounds. So, I mean, that's way more than enough for shad. All right, let's get into making the rig. So we got eight pound test right here, main line. I mean, I usually tie, I usually tie my darts and my uh, shad spoons directly to this, but a lot of people like to use, you know, a little bit something heavier for that, which is fine. Um, you don't have to, but uh, I'm using this uh, high vis monofilament just so y'all can see it a little bit better. I do not recommend using high vis you know, anywhere where you're putting your lures. Any knot that I tie, I'll tie it with these. Jeez, what is this stuff called? Um, that way y'all can see it a little bit better. We'll be able to have a better demonstration on how to tie those knots. Um, but what I'm gonna start off with, tying the main line to, I guess you could call it your leader. Um, how I'm gonna start off that is I'm going to tie a uni knot to uni knot. If you wanna run, uh, weight at a you know you're you're casting you know from a little bit higher vantage point or the water's moving a little bit harder and you need it to you know sit down a little bit better add the weight this is the time where you add the weight I'm gonna go ahead and do it just just for uh so put your weight on first you know don't be using anything too heavy I mean you gotta adjust the conditions that are out there put the bead on you don't have to it just depends on how thick your knot is you don't want the weight slamming against the knot every cast so when you do that you know it'll chafe it up and might get broken off so this is how you tie the uni to uni knot we'll say that the black line is the main line you know this is what the yellow line is in this video this is your leader pretty much what you're gonna do pick up both ropes you're going to take main line actually put it just like that so they're sitting side by side what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop over behind the blue line just like that get a little bit more rope or line excuse me behind there and you're just gonna pull it through and then from there you're gonna be pulling this through the hole around there for this we're gonna do four times with your fishing line you know do it do it five times just to be safe but one two three four so all you're gonna do after that pull both sides just like that and then what you're gonna do you're gonna come to the other side do the same thing so over here you have the blue line Put it in this case in front of the black line. So come around, and you're gonna be coming through this hole and around both lines. You know, remember, do about five times, but we're gonna do four with this. So you got one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and pull it through. Not right there. So this part, what you're gonna do from here to here, when you pull this together, it's gonna create a lot of friction. It's gonna give a lot of heat. It's gonna weaken your line. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this lubricated. You know, the best thing to do it, you, know, you just kind of run it through your mouth before you do this next step. So now what you're gonna do, you got it all lubed up, ran it through your mouth. You're just gonna pull both sides and slide them together. And that gives you a knot right there. Uh, you know, might not be the best knot, but you know, it, it works. Trim off both tag ends close to the knot as possible. All right, so this is what you should have so far. If you went with the weight and the bead, uh, you know, the bead's just there to keep the, the weight from slapping on your, uh, uh, your knot there. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take your leader line and we're going to attach your shad dart. You can use a shad dart, you can use uh, something with a jig head, something like that. I always tie the heavier thing on the top of the line closest to the rod. You want the back, what I usually run at the back is a uh, shad spoon, or actually it's just, just a small spoon. Um, the reason is because this is designed to flutter around in the water. It's not gonna have the same action if you're running this 
and trailing something else behind it. So you want this to be able to be free or free and flutter around or whatever in the water, you know, cause I mean, we're working for a reaction bite here with the shad. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna attach the uh, shad dart to um, uh, the leader line. If you're running the weight, try to keep it, you know, a little bit under a foot away from the, uh, the weight. Um, but we're going to attach the shad dart uh, using a clinch knot. This is the blue line. Remember, this is acting as if it was the yellow line. We use the scissors as if this is the shad dart. Run your line through the shad dart with monofilament. I would do three full turns. Um, I'm going to do two full turns. In this case, just because it's going to it's going to act weird with this with this rope. But so you got one, two. Put it through the hole, just like that. And when you pull it all together, you're gonna get an ugly knot. No, it's it's not. Um, but that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, that's what we have. The reason why I like to use the uh, the clinch knot, not the advanced clinch knot, for this one is because once you tie it, you can see that naturally after you're coming down from the rod down to the shad dart and following down it, where you're gonna be putting your uh, your spoon, the line is naturally already angled down. So that way. When you attach your spoon to the end, especially when you're casting, sometimes it'll hit the wind and this will cross over here. You're not really fishing it right when you're doing that. Um, so this way it keeps everything kind of straightened out, you know, especially if there's a little bit more wind out there to make every cast count. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, spoon to the end. You usually leave about a foot of line to trail it. Um, I mean, like I said, everybody fishes it differently. I wouldn't go close to it, but I mean, I would give it at least a foot from your shad dart. All right, now for the, the spoon, last piece to the puzzle, we're gonna be using an improved clinch knot. So seven half turns or so with the monofilament, but with this, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do four half turns to four rotations of the scissors. Um, So put it through, you got one, two, and you do the same thing, put it through that hole right here. And after that, you see right here, made this hole. This is the improved part of it, I guess. Put it back through there, just like that. And all you're gonna do, pull it through, tighten up this end. Uh, looks very, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much what you end up with. I've got to get a better camera. I can't really focus on it too well, but remember to trim your tag ends get real close. And you are all set. Look at that. If you were a fish, you would eat that, that thing fluttering through the ah, fluttering through the Yeah, I'd eat that. Uh, or this. I'd eat that little guy too. Well there it is right there. Ready to be fished. Well, actually. I gotta retie mine because I'm not using yellow line. All right, so I hope that information helped out. At least a little bit more knowledge on well, how I tie my shad rigs. Like I said, might not be the best way, but give the video a like, comment if you'd like a, to tie your rigs a different way. That's fine, just let me know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button.